Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. I'm in a new location. I'm in my bedroom. There's an airplane going by. I doubt y'all can hear it, but I can hear it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm in here because this morning I'm watching Cat, or we're watching Catherine, and Jesse's awake and Devin's in there. They're all in the living room playing and stuff, so I thought it'd be better to film in here. But uh, I got the window open, so hopefully the light's, lighting is pretty decent. <laughs> um, this video is also coming up late because I have some good excuses. I'm not just being lazy. <laughs> um, one what was my first excuse? I was thinking about it earlier. One of them is I had to go to the doctor yesterday. I, uh, since before Christmas, my finger around my fingernail was really tender. <laughs> and, um, it kept getting worse and worse. And I'm, I'm one of those people who procrastinate going to the doctor in hopes that, um, whatever it is will just go away. This didn't end up getting worse. I don't know if you could see it very good, but my finger is really swollen and gross. But, um, I had to go to the doctor yesterday and they put me on antibiotics. So I started those last night, so that should be fun. <laughs> but, um, and the other one was just Jesse. We've let him into the kitchen. We've taken the baby gates down. So, he's going crazy in there. And we're trying to get through this, the first few days, hopefully, of him being amazed by being in there and getting into everything. Anyways, it's still up Friday. It's just later Friday. Usually I, I upload during Thursday night and then it really says set, uh, Friday morning at 7.30 but oh well it's coming up alright I'm gonna go ahead and hop on in because I gotta get this done because we have to go get baby proof lock magnet thing for the refrigerator because Jesse knows how to open it <laughs> but uh, we'll start off with finished objects I only have one finished object and it's little well it's not too little but it's this I think it's so stinking cute it is called the Valentine's Day Heart by Regina Rue. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that or not. It'll be linked below. Uh, this is just one, obviously, but I'm planning on making three pink and two red to make a, uh, what are they called? Pennant? No, pennant. Bunting, I guess? Garland? To hang over where I had my garland, my Christmas garland, for Valentine's Day. Um, the pattern calls for fingering weight, and I used a worsted because I wanted it to come out bigger, and I think it came out an awesome size. It's like, I don't know. It's just perfect. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> But it's just, this is made with Red Heart Super Saver, um, Petal Pink and White, I think, just white. It's pretty much scrapped, there's a little hand I need to trim. But, um, yeah, the pink is scrapped, the white is the new one that I just opened up. But, uh, yeah, I think it's super cute, it's a very easy pattern, I've pretty much memorized it. This is my finished one, I actually have a couple almost finished right here. I went ahead and made the other two pink, all the way up to the border round. So that all I have to do is attach the white and add the borders. And then I'm going to make two red. But that's a cute free pattern. I really like it. Uh, my sister, I think, already wants some. I posted it on Instagram. And I got a lot of feedback from it. It's one of my most, like, quickly popular posts on there. I got, like, eight comments or something. Which is pretty cool. But uh, that's my only finished object. Because, I, you know, Christmas and all that haven't really worked a lot. I didn't make anybody Christmas gifts this year, and I probably won't ever make anyone Christmas gifts except for randomly. Well, no, that is a lie. I didn't make one. I made a hat, um, and the person who I gave it to, my sister-in-law, she, um, she's like, you know, it's confusing. She's basically sister-in-law. <laughs> she loved it. She put it on as soon as she opened it, and um, underneath it was Harry Potter pajamas that we got her, and she really loved them too, which is awesome. All right, whips. My only I got. Four whips, but only two that I'm working on, which y'all know. <laughs> this is one of the red hearts. <laughs> Maybe red heart. Uh, for the Valentine uh, pennant. Ow, I just hit my finger and it hurt really bad. Oh, I gotta be more careful. It's very tender. But um, I'm on roll like 20, I think. No, probably not 20. I don't know. I was just doing it last night. But I can make two red ones. And this is the red heart that I bought recently because I needed a bright red. This is hot red. Close enough. It's made with an elf hook. Uh, no, it's not. Yes, it is. G hook. <laughs> I can't remember. I stick the. No, this isn't either. This goes to the bear. This is made with the elf hook. I'll show you my new hooks in a minute. <laughs> I'm a little frazzled. Uh, the only other whip that I'm working on is still my sleepy bear. Let me try to give him some shape. I worked on him a lot up till Christmas, and then since Christmas, we've been so busy. Well, since Christmas Eve. But I think last time he was just a head. This is his head, and this is the majority of his body. His body pulled a little bit, too, like in stripes. So I think it's cool how his head pulled and his body pulled. I don't know how good you can see it, because it's a lot. 
but I'm right. I just got to the first decrease row, so I got to stuff them. And there's an actually there's some more heart things I want to make for the living room, uh, little like doll things. But I'm gonna have to wait to get some more stuff in because I don't even know if I have enough fiber fill to fill him up. But um, that means I need to either go buy some stuffing from Walmart or I need to go to the thrift store and find some toys because that's one thing that I do is get toys or old pillows that other people aren't gonna buy and I just slice them open and take their guts out <laughs> but um I just think it's so cool how it pulled like it's just pulling every part of it's pulling it's going to look really neat I need to I can't remember like I can't decide if I want to make this the sleepy eyes like you stitch them on or if I want to put safety eyes in it I gotta figure that out soon because it's about time to close them up but this is made with Red Heart Super Saver Icelandic and I, this is how much I got left of the first skein this skein was almost a full skein it just had enough for those little mittens that I made for my brother and sister-in-law that I forgot to give them. They're actually in my Christmas box so I guess I'll give them to them next year. But um, so I think this will be enough to finish his body and probably do a couple of his appendages. <laughs> so I'll probably have to open up a new skein just to do a couple arms maybe in the ears. And then I'll use a gray color to make the little snout thingy. And then I still got, I'll have a skin and half, more than half left of this that I'll make some other emigrum with just because I'm trying to use up that. And it's still got my little bee from Hannah on it. I love that little bee. This is the hook that goes to that. The G hook goes to that. If I can get on. These hearts are supposed to be made with like a fingering weight and like a D hook. But I'm using worsted weight and an F hook to make them bigger. And this, I think, was made supposed to be made with a smaller hook and smaller yarn, but I wanted it bigger. Because, although I love small amigurumi, I really love the bigger ones, too. I can see my neighbors out there. Speaking of neighbors, if any of you watched me long enough, and especially if you watched my vlogmas, you'll know that our next-door neighbors are very loud people, and they've moved to a bigger apartment further away from us, so hopefully the new people who move in won't be as annoying. Is that all my whips? Okay, my other two whips is the Hexi Blanket baby blanket that I'm making for my brother and sister-in-law's couch. I haven't worked on it since before Christmas because yeah, I haven't wanted to. <laughs> I've been working on that bear trying to get it going. And then my grease cow which I'm not even going to talk about because it's in hibernation. But I still keep it on the list just in case. Alright. That's pretty much all my whips. There are some more things that I want to start like I said but I need to get some more fiber fill. Because there's two little hearts that's going to make one a dark red. Like a darker than this red. I'm trying to think of what it's called. I got a big ball of it. It's the same red I made my Santa out of. It's like a maroony red. I'm going to make a boy heart out of that. And then um, I got a hot pink color I'm going to make a girl heart out of. And the only thing that's different is the girl one has a bow on it. I think the boy one has a little top hat or something. Uh, just to have sitting around. Just a cute little heart couple. And then I wanted, wanted to make some little... Um, I already got the yarn pulled out and everything. Some little just cupcakes to sit around in the living room in Valentine colors. <laughs> Just because I wanted to make some, you know, after I took all the Christmas stuff down, uh, the living room is bare, so I want to decorate a little bit for every holiday, I think. So I'm going ahead and doing Valentine's stuff now, so I'd hang it up in January and beginning of February, and then I might make some kind of pennants or something of um, St. Patrick's Day themed things. And I know Snappy Tots has a flag. I'm pretty sure I have it. I think I have almost all her flags. Um, of like little leprechaun legs sticking out of a pot of gold that I wanted to make and then also actually for Valentine's Day I already pulled the yarn out. I got a big mesh bag full of the yarn that I'm gonna need. I'm gonna make a snappy tots flag that I'm gonna hang on the wall. Uh, it's just like a white flag with a little ladybug on it. I just thought it was cute and valentine -y. I think it's little spots or hearts or something I can't remember. Anyways, acquisitions. I'll do these ones first since they're visible. These are from my father-in-law still got Christmas paper on it. <laughs> but, um, I got a, what are they called? Jumbo skeins? Yeah. Jumbo skein of, I never can say this color right. I know what it is. It's just a purple color. I actually got two of these. One of them is open and in there. This is what I'm doing edging with the heart with. And another light blue. He bought me all those other light blues that I'm trying to use. The only thing is, this is a different color light blue. I held it up to the other ones that he bought me, but you know that was two years ago, so the dial lot's different, obviously. And this is like a darker light blue, which is pretty cool, I think, because it also seems kind of thicker. You know, it's just a totally different lot, so it's different. 
so I'll use this for other stuff. I have so much blue yarn, not just light blue, but I have a bunch of light blue that y'all know if you've watched me. I have a bunch of just the Red Heart Blue. I have a couple of skeins of the Delph Blue, or however you say it. And then I have, I think, two of the Jumbo big ones of Navy Blue. I could make a lot of blue stuff if I wanted to. I might actually be using that before Jesse's birthday because for his birthday we're planning on buying a membership to the aquarium, the Chattanooga Aquarium, because it's only like an hour away from us. Maybe not even that. And um, we go there a lot, so we thought we'd buy a membership, a family membership, because then we could go there, you know, for free. After a few visits, it'd be free um, for his birthday next year, so we'd have a whole year of going whenever we wanted to. And then to go with that, I was going to either make or buy him some, you know, whales or sharks, or he likes sharks, so probably some sharks and just some fish and maybe a big octopus, because he likes octopus. Every time he sees an octopus or a squid, he, he says, octopus, octopus, <laughs> super cute, to go with it so that he actually has something he can play with, but then also that, because he'll be two, he won't know what it is. But he loves the aquarium. Uh, yeah, I sidetracked. Acquisitions. This, that was from my, my in-laws for Christmas. They also got us a washer and dryer, so that was the big gift. Brand new washer and dryer. I cried. If y'all, if you didn't watch the Vlogmas, it would be the Christmas Eve Vlogmas, which was the second to the last one. If you wanted to go see that. <laughs> but, um, and I actually got to use my, do my first load yesterday. Devin already used it one day. He let me sleep in a little bit, and Jesse peed through on his bedding, so he washed and dried his bedding. But I just got to use it for the first time last night. <laughs> and it was like, super exciting to have laundry here, and uh, it to be ours, you know, we own it, like, forever, or as long as it lives. Alright, other acquisitions. These, my sister, we already... I got my, well, Devin technically drew my sister's name, but I'm the one that shopped, so I got my sister and she got me, because we draw names on my side of the family to make it easier on everybody. Um, and, you know, I got her cross-stitch stuff, and she got me crochet stuff, though, because that's our crafts. And she, I, you know, we sent links to each other, things we'd be interested in, and I basically told her I wanted the hooks. So she got me three hooks and two little stitch markers. The stitch markers came free with the two hooks she bought. And then she got one hook for free because she bought on a certain day or something. I don't remember. Point. She bought two hooks and she got another hook and two stitch markers free. This was the free hook, which I thought this was a really nice hook to be for free. It's a Susan Bates uh, K and it's a 6.5 millimeter, which I have a K already, but it's a boy and I want Susan Bates. I want to slowly switch all my hooks over to... Susan Bates, and then just give someone all my boy ones that aren't my polymer clay ones, because I'm going to keep my polymer clay ones. Unless I get better ones, and then I could gift them to someone who likes boy. But this is a cute little candy cane. It's kind of a weird color, but it's still cute. <laughs> and it's got a little holly on it, which I love little hollies and stuff. I can't wait to use it. My sister was afraid it'd be top heavy, but the way I hold my hook, it's just perfect, you know. I used to hold it weird. I've mentioned it before, but in the last... I don't know, a month or so, I've learned to hold it the right way, <laughs> and um, it's made stuff a lot quicker and easier on my arms, because what I used to do, it would give me cramps in my arms, but that was the free one, and then I'll go ahead and show you the free stitch markers, I can't remember the shop name that she got these from, I'll have to look it up, two little teapots, little hearts on them, they're super cute, I've already used the blue one, I used it on... Oh, I was going to use it on the hearts until I realized that it was a simple enough pattern that I wouldn't need a stitch marker. I think they're so cute, little deep eyes. And then this is another hook. This is a boy J. Which I already have a few J's, but you can never have too many, especially cute ones. And it's just a pretty, like, marbled with a present on top, and it's got, like, snow coming off of it. Super duper cute. I like the colors, too. They're, like, jewel tones. Really pretty. And then my favorite. <laughs> This is my favorite. I've already been using it. This is what I've been making the hearts with. It is Susan Bates, which is my favorite. F, which is my favorite size. It is a pink one. And it's glittery. I love pink ones. Everything pink ones. I had like 12 pink one ornaments on our tree this year. It is so adorable. Just look how cute he is. I don't know how good you can see him, but he's adorable. I've been using him to make the hearts with. And... My other elf hook that y'all have seen me use a lot has a little mouse on top. I love it too. So I'm going to be using these two 
interchangeably. But e.l.f. I've noticed since I started making amigurumi are my most commonly used hooks. My most commonly used like group of hooks is e.l.f. G and H. Those are my favorite sizes to use, but e.l.f. has become my most favorite. Any pattern just about for amigurumi, if it calls for anything smaller or slightly bigger, I use e.l.f. Because it just comes out the right size and everything. With worsted weight, it just works good with my tension and all that. That's my acquisitions for Christmas. I just love these hooks. I love that pink one so much. I love polymer clay hooks. That's as from now on that's gonna be what I ask for when anyone asks to get me a gift. Like my birthday is the week of Jesse's. My birthday is well Jesse's is May the first, he's May Day. My birthday is the seventh. So my birthday is kinda overshadowed by Jesse's, but that's totally okay because I'm happy with hooks or yarn. <laughs> but um yeah, I guess that's about everything. I need to go back in there because I hear them kids going crazy. Devin's probably cross-eyed right now. But I'm going to go ahead and get this edited real fast and get it uploading so that it's not up too late. It'll probably see it's 9, it's almost 10 right now in the morning. It's going to take a couple hours, so probably, hopefully around noon it'll be up. I'm sorry it's late, but then, you know, it's life. I already miss vlogging. <laughs> they're hollering. <laughs> it sounds like they're running around the kitchen. But um, I miss vlogging. And I've still been filming some of Jesse because I want to have more videos of him. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to still do some random vlogs, I think. I'll probably do one for New Year's because, um, it'll be fun. I think I might go to Walmart and buy some, some of them things that blow or some of them little pop or something New, New Year's that's cheap. Because it'll just be me and Jesse, Devin will be, or, it'll be me and Devin and Jesse will be asleep. <laughs> Devin's got to go back to work on the 3rd, so it's, it's the last weekend we have with him until he goes back. Which stinks, but oh well. Uh, I think that's about everything. I'm hoping to have that stupid bear done. I think it's going to be so stinking cute. And I'm going to... I made it to like have in my stash, which I, it's over there somewhere. I have a tote full of already crocheted things to in case you know I need a, a baby shower or whatever. And I thought about putting him in there, but I don't know. He's kind of out pretty cute. I'm probably going to have to keep him. <laughs> we shall see. But um, uh, thanks for watching, and hi to all the new subscribers. I've had a few pop up. Um, yeah, I'm kind of, I keep brain farting. I don't know what to say. My finger hurts so bad. I hope it gets better. But i got to go take my other antibiotic, actually. Um, I will see you guys for sure next Friday for the next crochet talk. Possibly sooner if I do a vlog or something. Um... <laughs> I don't know if that's as loud to you as it is to me, but they're, they're hollering and running. It's so cute. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and get it edited and all that stuff. Ow, what hit my finger again? Oh, it hurts so bad. It's so tender. Gosh, that hurts so bad. I don't wish that on nobody. But I'm going to, I done said it like 400,000 times. I'm so bad at ending my videos. I'm going to go. I'll see you guys next Friday for sure, possibly before. I hope you all had a very awesome Christmas. We had a very fun one. It was so fun with Jesse this year. Opening, although Christmas is all over the house. He has so many toys now. We're actually, when he goes to his grandparents this weekend, me and Devin's going to organize a lot of them, put some up in a closet, and clean a lot. So it's been chaos since Christmas. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys next Friday. Bye.